going on everybody MSD here back with another video on Marvel contest of champions white tiger was released today her early access bundles and all the content for white tiger just came out today and I wanted to do something a little different I do want to showcase some gameplay but I also want to start trying to be consistent with a champion review style video for every new character unless there's a video I really want to make whether it's some kind of boss battle or some unique showcase with a with a new character if I want to make content with them it's probably going to be in the style of this where I do a fight or two kind of showcase their whole rotation their loop and then I give my personal thoughts about them so let's just get into it. I have the 7 star rank 1 White Tiger and then the rank 4 Ascended Sig 200 White Tiger. So I am going to fight Star-Lord a couple of times here, show off the Unawakened versus the Awakened, and kind of give my thoughts. So White Tiger has a pretty simple rotation, at least I deem it to be fairly simple. From what I understand, you want to throw two special ones back to back to gain four of your Fury buffs your special one grants you an additional fury. Every special attack gives you a fury, but your special one gives you one extra one. So you want to throw two special ones back to back. This will give you the power steal on the initial one. Then it goes on cooldown for the second special one. And then after the second special one is finished, the power steal is ready for your next special attack. So you'll, you'll see what I mean in this fight. I want to start with the unawakened white tiger. I like her. I think she's very good. I think she's going to be strong. I just don't know if she's my favorite character in the game. There are some things that I'm not a huge fan of, like how her precision is tied to a dash and not an intercept. I wish it was tied to intercepts. It would feel a lot more fluid with her kit and how aggressive you want to be because you can't always rely on getting that dash. So there's the first special one. And then what you can do is you can dash and throw another special one right away because after a special attack, you gain an unblockable passive, so that gives you enough time to dash in, throw a special, right after you've already thrown your initial special. So here's the problem with White Tiger sometimes. If the AI is not cooperating, she loses so much momentum. As you can see, my Fury buffs are already on the verge of expiring. All right, we have the precision here. Furies are paused, and that will kill him. We don't even get to see what the bleed does because he is already dead. Her main course, her bread and butter, is going to be those short fights, so war fights, battlegrounds, that's where White Tiger is mainly going to be used. I do not enjoy her that much for long-form content. I don't think she's made for it. I think she can take higher health pool matchups. If you go for your special three, you can gain two additional Furies. Your normal cap is five, but if you go for the special three, you gain two additional ones. You can get to seven, but even then, that's not going to have her wow anybody in the health pools that eclipse the millions, you know, unless there's power boosts involved and, and synergies, max sig, max rank, then of course she'll do well. But at an attainable level, at a reasonable level now, 7-star rank 1, 6-star rank 4 ascended, both very attainable levels of, of power for characters nowadays for people to acquire. She does well in those short to medium style content. This, I would say, is, is very much medium style content. And I'll do a fight here with White Tiger, try and get the special 3 rotation going um, for the max amount of Furies. But I like her. I have some some issues. Like I said, my main one is how inaccessible I feel her precision is. Being tied to a dash really irks me because it prevents you from staying completely on top of the opponent and being hyper-aggressive. Like, you can do it here, but then there are certain instances where it's not going to work, and you just kind of have to accept the fact that you won't get the precision, and that's that's the end of it. So... We're building up here, and I think I'll probably just go for a special two. We're in a really good spot right now. We have the precision, five furies, and now we power steal. So yeah, that's a decent amount of bleed. That's also a decent amount of power we just stole. If you charge the heavy attack, you can access your special three. So that was about 40% of 670,000 health right there from one loop without the additional furies. So now I am going to go for the additional Furies here. We have the Power Steel. I am going to throw another special one right now, get the Power Steel, and we should be able to go right in after he throws this, or maybe he doesn't even need to. I just dash. 
And there's her, like, I want to say max damage. It's not really her max damage, but there's her max potential rotation with seven Furies. Yeah. I think she's good. I think the AI has to cooperate in order for her to really excel. So that was a whole... What was that? Almost two minutes there. So not even that bad. Like, considering I went for two loops, I went for the initial loop with just the five Furies, and then I went for the big loop, the big special three loop with all seven. It wasn't that bad, but you're not going to see me once I get White Tiger, because I do plan on taking her to rank four on the live server once her early release bundle comes out. I do plan on taking her up to at least rank four, or if I get the seven star, you know, take up the seven star. You're not going to see me using her in long form content. So all of this gameplay has been with the unawakened version of White Tiger. I want to show off what the awakened ability looks like. So now I want to show you guys a little bit of the awakened ability and what that does. I think the awakened ability is really nice to have, but not required at all. The potency of her power gain scales with the awakened ability. Oh, I'm sorry, not the potency, the duration of her power gain scales. It scales down. So it starts out around 20 seconds, I believe, and then it scales all the way down to 6 seconds. The power gain is 100% of her power, and it's a very nice thing to have for closing out fights and, and weaving in certain special attacks as finishing blows. She also gets the fear passive, which protects her from some unblockable attacks, reduces unblockable ability accuracy by 100%. Very similar to Infamous Iron Man and what his aura of incineration does when he is awakened. Very similar awakened ability there, but of course different characters. So I want to show off a little bit of what the Awakened ability does in terms of finishing out fights and how that power gain can be used. Again, I want to reiterate one thing I really don't like about White Tiger is how her precision passive is tied to a dash and not an intercept. It would probably be the only thing I'd be fighting to change, at least right now. There's also that, but that was just me throwing a special from far away. I'd say that's the only thing I'm fighting to change right now, or I will be fighting to change, is how the precision works. Because going for a straight dash, unless your name is Kitty Pride and you have the safety net of being immune to damage, it doesn't do you so well. You're seeing right here how White Tiger suffers from uncooperative AI. We didn't even get to see the power gain, so we'll, we'll definitely see it in the, in the longer fight here with White Tiger. But uncooperative AI, AI that does not want to throw a special attack, really hurts White Tiger quite a bit. She needs that tempo. She needs to control the matchup. Unless you're just spamming special ones, which you can do. You can just spam special ones and have some kind of infinite power steal loop going. If you're trying to get to that special two for the bleed, for the regen steal, you really can't prevent them from throwing a special ever. It's very difficult. There's a lot of block damage that's going to be taken, and it, it's not going to be a great time. All right, so we've gotten the initial ramp up going. We have four Furies, so now going to build up to a special three. And again, the only way you can use your special three with White Tiger is if you charge your heavy attack. So you can do that right there, mid combo, if you'd like, as long as they don't have a bar power or a special ready to throw. So now we have seven, count that, seven Furies. We're about to get more because our power seal is active. All right, we lost one of the Furies along the way. I need you to throw a special attack here, buddy. We might just be screwed here because he doesn't want to throw a special. Yeah, look at that. We lost all of our damage because Star-Lord just refused to throw a special attack. So nothing you can really do about that. We're going to just have to go for another special three. You saw how successful the rotation could be if the AI was willing to cooperate at all. But I guess this gives us a chance to kind of check out how useful the power gain can be. So now we have seven Furies. What I'm going to do is push him. We're gonna get the power steal. We're gonna get the power gain, throw a special, immediately intercept him. 
throw another special, he's blocking it, it doesn't matter, he's dead. So the power gain, it can come in handy. It, there are situations where you might not be able to weave in that special one, it really depends. But we messed up that rotation, and it was still just shy of two minutes. Well, I didn't mess it up, the AI just wouldn't throw a special attack. So, White Tiger, I think she's good, I think she'll have a place in the game. She's not my favorite character, I'll be very upfront about that. I did vote for her, and I do enjoy her, I think she is strong, I think she will have a place, like I mentioned. But she's not my favorite, and I do see some some instances where she would not be my first pick for control matchups or big damage mystic matchups. I would rather use other characters like Tigra um, or maybe even someone like, you know, Doom or Wiccan. Really just depends. I think she will be useful. I am excited to use her on the live server, whether that's at the 6-star rank 4 level or, hey, if I get lucky, I'll get the 7-star and I'll get to use her then. If I do get the 7-star, I will probably take her to rank 2. I do like her enough to want to take her up and invest in her. But any further than that, we'll have to see. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of review slash champion testing-esque video. We went a little, little over 12 minutes here. Could probably cut that time down a little bit. At least 12 minutes on mine. It might be shorter on your end. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, hit the subscribe button if you have not already, and hit the bell for notifications. You never know when I'm going to go live, upload, upload a new video, or anything like that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Catch you next one.